Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I decided to make a video on the um, Sir Action Slacks and Company's um, Dota 2 tutorial that I think just came out today. So I wanted to give it a check out to see how it works. Um, just to uh, talk about, there are, um, there's an Indiegogo for it, for the mod. Um, I don't know if it's uh, I don't know if it's finished because it just released, but this is the website you can look at to work on it. So I'm going to try it out and see how it goes. Because I'm interested. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, look at this new blood, the Dragon Knight himself. Fresh from the Netflix anime, are we? Welcome to the world of This Dota is so Dota. cool already. We're here to teach you how to navigate the best game ever made. Except for artifacts. <laughs> yes, yes, of course, except for artifacts. First things first, let's take you through the main goals of the game, defense of the ancients. Is it to defend the ancients by any chance? No, surprisingly, it's to kill the enemy ancients. You see? This is why you need us. This is your Dota 2 map, your personal battlefield. You're currently in your fountain. It'll heal you and is where you can purchase items, which are power-ups for your hero. This is also where you respawn after you die, which I'm sure is coming up very soon. So far, the voice acting from the, these guys is all great, and the modding is awesome. All the way over here is the enemy ancient. This is what you're trying to destroy. Yeah, but we got a long way to go before that. And then we crawl and the trees? So, let's start um. off with the baby steps. Let's get you to move. Move your cursor over this very generic tutorial type waypoint and then click the right mouse button to move your hero. I oh need my those goodness, skills. it's first steps! Someone grab the oh, is the camera, camera locked? <laughs> okay, now That's move fun. on to the next arrow. Oh, hey, hmm. it's Morana from the anime, but with a uh, budget voice actor. <laughs> Call it Shiver like that. Morana. Actually, she's <laughs> Incredible. a very old hero. In, in fact, she was in the original Dota. Morana from the anime. Anyway, she's very protective of us for no particular reason. Watch out for her arrows. Just simply dodge them when she fires them at you. All right, are you seeing me suck at this? Swiftly. Onward. We're good. We're good. Nice dodging. That's a good effort. Very good. You're a real walking pro. Now let's get to the hard stuff. I'm gonna unlock your camera now. If at any point you get lost, the F1 key will bring you back. Good to, to know. Zero. Good to know. My, my whoa, 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 where are you going? Uh, this guy's out of his mind. Reel it back in, kiddo. In the game of Dota, you'll need to move your camera while simultaneously moving your hero to a selected spot. This is difficult to master, but is step one. We will help you, but first we need you to get ready to fight if you want to survive outside of the safety of your fountain. Here is a target jump. Hello. <laughs> this is, the new player is it for the Warcraft 3? <laughs> Cover your mouth over the dummy and right click. Right. I have I have a click on right now, but I'll just do it for the sake of this. Oh my, that was very violent. Wait a second, why, why do I have a health bar over my head right now? Alright, time to kill Suns fan, guys. I'm sorry. You will be remembered. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, look at that. You leveled up and got a ton of gold. Killing victory. enemies and just being in the general area of killing enemies allows you to gain experience and gold. Gaining experience allows you to level up, like in any RPG game. 
As you can see, you are already provided your third skill, Dragon Blood, which is a passive, meaning that it just works. Now, you can select another skill. Let's have you select an active ability. Click on the plus sign over Dragon's Tail. Feel free to hover over your skills at any time to learn more about them. Probably best to not do this during a game, though, as other people might laugh at you. Or you can also read yeah. up on hero skills in the Heroes tab, which is in the main menu of the Dota client. Oh, no. Here comes Pugna. Ugh, he's so Purge! everybody this is pugna and i'm here to talk to you today about the difference between strength agility and this is agility. really good so far oh no make him stop use your ability press the w key or hover over the icon and select the skill you want to use then hover the mouse over the enemy unit and left click them great your hero yeah i have auto cast on so it's gonna be a little unit until the spell is in casting range and then they will automatically cast it now, almost every single hero gains all three of these attributes throughout the game. <laughs> they gain it slowly as they level up, or they can gain it with a child of a Looks like you got enough XP for another level. Uh breathe fire ability. Dragon Tail is a single target ability. You can target a single enemy and it'll cast it on them as long as you're in range. Breathe Fire, on the other hand, is a target point ability. And you can target a point, like a place on a map, but not a specific unit. Wait, why do I have a health bar? <laughs> it's your turn, dear brother. You know what to do, young one. Sorry, I'm just waiting for this a voice so everyone can hear fire ability, Or simply select it with your mouse. Then click on the ground with the left mouse button in the direction you want to cast. Oh, <laughs> it burns! <laughs> well, that's for both ghosts now. Yeah, Incredible voice so acting. Here to haunt you for eternity. Just keep in mind that this is not in a normal Dota game. You will not be haunted by ghosts, I promise. Unless you play against Death Prophet. Actually, you know what else? Or Revenge. You? Hit the shop button. Oh my lord, there are so many items. <laughs> it's your future oh, Items are one of the many reasons this game is so deep. A hero by default will be good at a specific thing, depending on who you pick. But items allow you to change them to excel in areas that they may not be able to normally. Certain items can allow you to open up completely different play styles for your heroes. Think of Dota heroes as rock, paper, scissors. Rock will always beat scissors, but in Dota, scissors can specifically build itself to be a little bit better against rock, should that need arise. Hmm, that's a good way of putting it, Every I guess. single hero has a guide that the community made, which will tell you what items to buy on it. This is a little video that will show you how to do this in-game. Select a guide maker that you like and trust, and select their guide and confirm them. Ooh. A little pop-up. Cool. Alright. I will click continue. Speaking of which, I made you a guide to get out of this exact scenario right now. You can trust me. Trust it. Now, as you can see, in my guide, we have items here, and you can just click on them. I usually use the Immortal Faith gold. one, but because I'm bad at this game, but... Your gold is down in the bottom right. Congratulations! I think you have enough money from murdering three people in the very short time you've arrived here. So go ahead and buy that tango. Okay. Okay, creature of mine, it's time for you to escape this hellish prison we've designed. Oh, tango the tree, the fuck yes. Just like you would a spell, and then select one of the trees. Are you starting to see a pattern? Yeah, I hope so. You did. <laughs> Don't ask why eating a tree is a good thing in this game. It just is. You can now escape. Go but because it heals you, Suns fan. But of course you already know that. We are going to give you back control over your camera. About time to walk and look, baby. I want to follow this exact path the best I can. <laughs> did you really think we would just let you out? No! We have thousands! Of barriers. Go, baby infant. Good Follow this very points. not ominous path. Practice your moving and camera controls. And while you're at it, keep in mind that you can move your camera in two ways. Number one is for cool people, where you middle click your mouse on the ground and hold it while dragging. Or you can be like my idiot grievel brother and move your cursor to the edge of the screen. Who All of this, of course, you can change drink. in your game settings. <laughs> I didn't know about the middle mouse click thing, actually. <laughs> well, the more you know. Maybe this is why I'm so bad at this game. I'm just so used to it. Uh. 
compelled to battle it. And here we are. Welcome to the top Radiant Barracks. Now before you lay several buildings, each with their own purpose and destiny. Except for that one, that's a moon well. <laughs> yep, that one's just there to look cool. Do you think it's cool? I sure do. Very good. So to your right, you can see the melee barracks, and to the left, you can see the range barracks. These two buildings spawn creeps. Don't worry. Not creeps like people that have body pillows. Creeps like... Uh, <laughs> what other buildings you say? <laughs> creeps spawn every 30 seconds and walk down the path ahead of them, called a lane. The creeps are... How long is this tutorial? This is like very in depth here. ...mindlessly walk down the path and attack any enemy to come in contact with. This includes enemy heroes, buildings, or emotions. That's what tipping's for, Sensei. That's right. The creeps act as your cannon fodder, making sure that the enemy can't just go to your side of the map and hurt you, or they're going to get stabbed by a thousand little swords. These barracks are what spawn these creeps. As you Dota is. There's one set of barracks in each of the three lanes. These lanes are referred to as top, middle, and bottom. Now, if you destroy the barracks, the enemy creeps don't stop spawning. They continue to spawn, but your creeps get stronger in each lane that lacks an enemy barracks. Take one lane, and you'll get super creeps. And if you take all the lanes, you get mega creeps. Check out how different the creeps are and how much more powerful they get as they murder these poor innocent heroes. Whew, that mega creep don't mess around. Indeed. Think of Dota like this. Killing other players allows you to have time to hit their buildings while they respawn. Hitting buildings is the true goal of Dota. So when there are no buildings, the enemy ancient is exposed. The game, in a nutshell, is essentially an elaborate tug of war where both sides try to outpush the other. Fair enough. Dota is a game about creeps and exposing things. That is actually not a joke. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, they stopped the creeps here? It's fun. Yes. Oh, they're not gonna see a creep block, I guess? Uh, I guess it's more. That's pretty advanced, I guess. Dragon to the brain. I guess they're blocking rhythm songs. Compelled to battle. So the creeps have now connected. I'm very bad at creep blogging though, so. As you can see, whenever an enemy unit dies, you will gain experience as long as you're in the general area. Whether you kill the unit or not, you still get experience. But in order to get gold, you must be the one to get the killing blow. We call this a last hit. This concept works for anything killable in Dota, including buildings. Alright, try getting some last hits on some of these creeps. And to help you, let me introduce you to our last hit trainer. No, it's not a mini game. It's a gigantic thick ass sheet. Howdy, Dragon Man. It's nice to meet you. Hey, it's sheet sick. Good deny. You got it. You got it. Keep it up. Bye bye. You're a goddamn natural. Yes. Just give me some time to practice my A stop A, which I have not been doing the entirety of the time I played there. Oh, that was a good last hit. Yes. I'm just gonna die now. Eh. Oh, that was a good last hit. Thank you. This is incredible. Depending on your hero, you can also use spells to kill Kree. Just keep waits. in mind that this will cost you a very precious commodity. Remember, auto attack can cost you nothing, Dragon but out. spells typically use a resource called mana, which is your blue bar. Go ahead and get a kill with three fire. So long, Dragon Knight. No Don't skin. give up. Thanks, Sheepstick. Black Stacky Barrel. <laughs> the incredible Jenkins voice actor. Amazing. An enemy hero. This is Sniper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Downside to being melee is that you gotta get closer in order to attack. Aha! 
you, Shock. Very fair. Oh god. When an allied creep is at low HP, you can actually attack it by hitting the A key and then selecting your creep. If you get the last hit, oh, he's got a little more damage. It's the fuck with the ogre. This is what separates us from the plebs over in Leaf. Why deny some of your creeps now? Will do. Who calls the dragon knight? Forward. Dragon waits. Dragon to the break. I was early. Not that bad for a dragon. This is actually not. Denied some creep, which means sniper is less powerful than you right now. Take advantage of this by destroying. Kill that one. I have a family. Now that that fool. This is incredible. <laughs> Kill that motherfucker. Once you've killed one, it's gone forever. It's a teen rated game. Doing so is the same versus any other unit in the game. You can simply right click to attack. Yes. This is where the tower shoots me, yeah. Now you know the pain of What's the pain important lesson for you? Pushing towers is very dangerous. As you can see, you are now dead, but luckily for you, death is not permanent, unlike for us Greevil. Your respawn timer can be seen at the top HUD, or your personal hero portrait. You'll always respawn in your fountain. Your respawn time is based on how much experience you have. The longer the game goes, the longer your respawn time will be. Luckily for us, you're a noob, so it should be no time at all. Even though you're dead, you can still be valuable to your team by overseeing the map in order to make the best decisions in the game. Examples being where should you go next, or what items do the enemy heroes have, or what do you want to eat for dinner tonight? All of these can be learned while you're dead. <laughs> okay, there is a bit of a... I don't know if that's on purpose, but the what he was saying there was not what I heard, but... I need no steam. This time, let's be more cautious. Every tower has a radius in which they will start attacking enemy units. Hold the ALT button to see how big that is. As you can see, when the creeps enter the area of the tower, it started attacking the first target it saw. This can allow you to move within the tower's range without getting hit. Okay, try getting to the other side of the tower without taking damage. Compelled to battle! Who calls the Dragon Knight? Now back to your side. Gotta wait till the other creeps come in. Like a good Dota player. Yes. Onward. Start killing the tower. Just remember my, that my towers typically blade. only attack one unit at a time. So just use your. Okay, you're actually pretty weak. So let's level you up to six will provide you with your ultimate ability. In addition, we'll gladly provide you some late game items. <laughs> Just give me divine. Damn, <laughs> uh, you strong now. Activate your ultimate, which turns you into a dragon. Now, kill that tower. Woo, the enemy just activated their glyph. It will temporarily make all of their towers and creeps invulnerable for a short amount of time. Go ahead and try clicking it yourself. I just clicked. It. Oh, I clicked it at the wrong time. Is that gonna mess with the thing? Uh, oh, there you go. I refreshed. Nicely done. Now destroy the tower once and for all. Incredible dragon. Don't actually do this in a match, or you will get replaced. Now that you've killed some creeps and a tier one tower, let's go actually buy some items for yourself. As we mentioned previously, most items can be bought from your base, but there are actually some items you can only buy from the secret shop. Your mini-map will show two locations of this shop. Go ahead and click over here to purchase some goodies. If you want to go to a specific spot on the map without having to follow your hero waits. with the camera, you can use the mini-map. 
right click on the secret shop and your hero will walk Dragon there automatically. Good to know. I guess it was going to be going around the other way. But... There's a powerful damage item called the Daedalus. It gives you a bunch of plus damage as well as a percentage chance to critical strike for even more. In order to build it, you need the Demon Edge, which is only available in the secret shop. Go ahead and purchase that. Will do. In order to complete the Daedalus, you must purchase the Chrysalis and <coughs> the recipe for the main shop. Go ahead and do so. Keep in mind that for the regular shop, you can buy things from anywhere on the map. When you do this, just know that the items will not automatically enter your inventory. You'll still need to go pick them up manually or have them delivered. Okay, now, I don't know about you, but walking back to the base seems like a huge waste of time. Luckily, you can use your cuddly courier to deliver those items from the base directly to you. Everybody starts with a cute little courier. After you buy items, you can click on this arrow and it will tell your courier to bring you all the items which you purchased. This is very in depth. Hit the deliver button on the courier. Every step. Straight to you. Yeah, I, I gotta say, I don't know, and it's probably why they made this, but I, the tutorial has always been probably the worst part of Dota. Well, other than the toxicity. But <laughs> it's never explains a lot of the more intense concepts of the game. So. Oh, when you put it like that. These little critters can die, so if you see an enemy courier, make sure to slay it. This gives your whole team gold and lets you slow down their progress. Okay, you have some items, you have some levels. It's time for you to enter the terrifying world away from the lake. Let's go into the jungle. Use your mini map to navigate to the waypoint. And let's get in there. Oh. Okay. Oh, are we gonna learn stacking? Compelled to battle. You made it! Welcome to the terrifying dark jungle, young innocent beautiful one. On the Dota map, there are three lanes. This is where most of the action takes place, as you'll need to push one of these lanes, or more likely all of them, to win the game. Lanes are where creeps go, and that means it's where the easy money and experience lies. But not all things are so predictable, my friends. The dark regions between the lanes we call the jungle. Dangerous creatures spawn in the jungle camps where they stand guard to attack any who do them harm. The jungle acts as a place where you can be unseen by your enemies. This means that you can farm here and make money, or you can invade and they won't see you coming. Although, the same applies to them. But what are you farming? Well, let's show off some of those jungle creeps. Okay. Jungle creeps come in four sizes, small, medium, large, and ancient. Don't get that confused with the ancient, of course. As you might imagine, the higher tier the jungle creeps, the bigger and stronger they are. But of course, the bigger they are, the more gold and experience they will provide. Go ahead and mercilessly slay this camp. We cross swords. I'll take that. Ah. Oh, that smells. <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> Good. Now all we need to do is wait. Jungle creeps spawn every minute. You'll notice that there's a clock at the top center of your screen. I do. I'm bored. Okay, fine. We'll just respawn them now, but remember, in a normal game, it's every minute. Great. Thanks, but, Sunsfin. Oh, dear. These weak, pathetic creeps from the small camp get so little golden experience. We could just walk to the bigger camp. No, no, no. I'm far too fat for that. I have a better idea. The jungle camps respawn every minute so long as there's nothing in their spawn area. Hold the alt button to see what this spawn area looks like. See that box? You don't want to stand in there when the in-game timer reaches a minute, or you will block the spawn. Or maybe you do want to stand in there to block your enemy's camp from spawning. Kind of down uh, what kind of person you are. Fair enough. The creeps won't spawn if something's in their way. But what if we move the creeps out of the way at the exact moment that they're supposed to spawn? Let's see what happens. When the game timer hits 53, I want you to attack a jungle creep and then run away. Get them to chase you and make sure that you and them are outside the box before the timer hits zero. It's starting to stack. Let's go. Ready? Go! Is this is my support. You can skip this. That's the wrong thing, but whatever. Dragon to the 
That was that was dumb. That was dumb. All right, all right. Nobody saw that. 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 Well done. This is what we call stacking a camp. Now you can get much more XP who from playing the dragon. camp. In fact, Dota rewards you for doing this by giving the person who stacked the camp additional gold of just course. for bothering to do this. Kind of like I did not know that. Well, <laughs> good. I'm learning all kinds of things in this tutorial. Oh God, this is why I suck at this game. I want you to keep stacking the camp as many times as you can, just like in a real game. You're gonna need to pull the creeps earlier and earlier if you hope to stack more. The more you stack, the better gift I shall bestow upon you. And there's somebody here to yes. hype it up for you. Good luck. We're at the stacking training championships. OD Pixel. This mundane activity extremely exciting. By the honor of the ancients. Thanks, OD Pixel. We got the hype caster. Come on. Well, did I get the stack? No, I don't get it. If these stacks keep going like this, we're gonna have to direct you to go play Lee, uh, another the video game. <laughs> Copyright though. Dragon did I get that one? That is no stack. Are you kidding me? Not yes. gonna be happy. Fuck this. Dragon to the fray. Who calls the dragon talk? Okay, they got that one. Triple stack. Unbelievable. I need no steed. I'll match your skull. I think that's too early. We'll see. Come on. Come on, you Grammy fuckers. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh, yes. that's, that's a cool stack. Alright, let's get the let's get the eh. Come on. Come on. Let's get the big boy stacks. Yeah. Oh okay. Well, all right, I'll skip that. Video game. Oh, there's no way I'm getting more than that. <laughs> Excellent work. Now go ahead and clear this camp. You can leave it for your allies in the game if you want, but be careful if you do. There is little to stop an enemy from taking your stacks. I'm also a poor, I'm a position 5 player, so I never take the stacks. Can pop a dragon farm to this. Yeah. I gotta die. No, I'm fine. Nice. Pick this up. Right. My God, is that a neutral I item? I have no idea why I'm so excited. They're not even particularly rare. Neutral items are dropped only by jungle creeps. Four of them will drop for each team based on the time of the in-game clock. Yes. There are five tiers to these items, and they get better as the game goes on. This whole process begins at seven for each one item. And then ends with the most powerful and game breaking neutral item at 16. Just hope your games don't last that long. Yes, indeed. I'm sure you remember to yourself. There just aren't enough items for me to learn in this game. Well, here you are, my friend. <laughs> yeah. The good news is, is that your inventory has one slot that is reserved specifically for a neutral item. So you don't have to mix and match with what you're buying during the game. Oh, no. What is this? A new jungle camp? Kill it! Dragon to the fray. Dear me, you have two neutral items now. As you can see, the second neutral item went into your backpack. The backpack slots are what we call muted, meaning it's as if you don't have them on your hero. This is useful when your six item slots are full, but you still want some other items that you can swap out for. 
Anyway, let's send your first neutral item back to the base. Okay. Here is your neutral item. Now right-click on that and select Teleport to Neutral Stash. Great. Now your allies can take the garbage that you don't want. Please okay. drag and drop the neutral item in your backpack. I like this random symbol. And put it into your neutral slot. I'll have to check that out in a second. Congratulations, you have successfully swapped neutral items. You stacked camps, you farmed neutrals, you returned neutrals to the fountain. You're literally better than 80% of current Dota players. Well, my little pancake. Okay, I feel slightly. What's up? Okay. <laughs> it's Ricky, the demon rat. Follow that monster. <laughs> Follow Ricky, the demon rat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we just saw an enemy in the jungle. <laughs> hunt them. But first, let's talk about vision. To have the best chance of killing someone, my friend, you must see them first. The fog of war covers all areas of the map where you lack vision. Right. As you can see here, you might be able to see the terrain, but if there are any enemies here, you will not be able to see them without vision. <laughs> Look at these trees. See how when they walk, the fog of war is lifted? Any friendly units, such as creeps, your buildings, your allies, and of course, you, will pierce the fog of war. But like everything in Dota, it's not that simple. You can only have vision in your line of sight. So if you're standing on the low ground of a hill, like we are now, you will not be able to see the high ground. It's over, Anakin! Don't try it! There it is. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> this is incredible. Okay, with all that out of Watch the way, now we know that Ricky could be right at the top of this hill, and he could see us. Let's make sure with a scan. Behold the scan icon. You can use the scan to click anywhere on your mini-map and check to see if enemies are in that area without vision. Try scanning here. Click on scan with your left mouse button, and then click on the target. Ah, that's a bummer. No enemies there. But when an enemy is under the scan, it'll turn red and make an alarm sound. Usually, the scan will go on cooldown for a while, but we will keep it available just for you. Scan again, but at the high ground where we are. This will also be a test to see if you can find yourself on the minimap. Oh my goodness, the enemy is right up that hill. What should we do? Charge up blindly with no plan? Yeah. That's what most idiots would do, but That's not true. us. We are going to use vision. Behold the most important item in the game. Award. Where is it? Go pick those up and oh, there we go. come back. Buy my plane. Awards are typically bought in the shop like the regular item. They give you vision of an area, even when no friendly units are there. They can be put on high ground to give the best vision in the game. Wards are very important as they can reveal what is lurking in the dark areas of the map. Perhaps revealing enemies so you can kill them. And you can use wards defensively in your own jungle, so you can see when the enemy's coming. So they can't kill you. Now I know what you're thinking. The map is huge. Where should I put my wards? Well, good news, friends, the best ones are already marked. The cliffs marked with the eye symbol are some of the best places to put wards in the game. They provide good vision, are in vital choke points of the map, and can be used offensively and defensively. Okay, this is very comprehensive. I don't even think they put this in the regular tutorial. Well, I mean, the stacking even. Click on the high ground target. This will place the ward. You don't need to be very close to do it. Well done, but what's this? No one here. This can't be right. We scanned this area and it said somebody was here. Are the scans lying? Is nothing real? This blue ward is called a sentry ward. Its job is to show you invisible things. This includes wards and other units that are invisible. Place your blue sentry ward down on top of your yellow observer ward, just like you did last time. Click on the ward with the left mouse button and click on the map to place it on the new target. Oh my god. <laughs> See ya. There he is. Go and attack him. Click on him with your right hand. Oh, no, he left the area of your sentry. Hold alt. Looks like we're just going to need to hunt him down. 
Here is a dust of appearance. Pick that up and walk in the direction that you saw Ricky. Forward. Now I skipped a little bit back now. Hope he's close. Shit, they found me. There he is. Get that pile of garbage. This was only is it her cheesy? <laughs> Is it freaking Arteezy? Well, one last idea. Let's take that enemy outpost. Okay, I actually know nothing about outposts, so this is useful for me. The outpost, when under your control, gives you vision, both regular and true sight. What we need is the invisible unit. You can take the enemy outpost only after you take a tier two tower, which is a second tower in any of the lanes. It any used to be like that, but trust me, it was a day. <laughs> Fair enough. Yes, indeed. Anyway, right click on the enemy outpost to take it. Our shields shall clash. What? There he is! Kill him! Exposed. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know. I'm done. <laughs> yes, that's one more in this spamming bastard down. <laughs> Great work. The outpost also gives you a place to teleport to and will give your entire team experience every 10 minutes. Try to make sure you control both outposts, yours and your enemies, before each 10 minute interval on the in game clock. Well, I don't know how that works, so she's good. Tsunami! Oh my goodness. You killed Ricky. Thank you so much. Great job. Oh, dear. This is one of your teammates. Don't worry, they can't hear us. We're ghosts that only haunt you. This is a nice teammate. Let's acknowledge their existence. Press the V key to turn on the I don't know if it'll work right now, but. Say hello. G for me. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Wait, did you actually talk? This is a tutorial, man. That's. That's. that's... <laughs> okay. You got me there. You got me. Key to open up your chat wheel and select well played. This is universal for thanks in the Dota world. Also used for you suck, surprisingly. True. Oh, thanks. You too. <laughs> what the f are you doing? You killed Ricky and you're stealing my kills. Why do you have so many wards in return? And why aren't my camp stacked? <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like we have a rager on our hands. Now Dota is a hard game. For some they see the challenge and why Slack's talking about rage is pretty <laughs> thick, but you a better person. For some, they become lost, shells of their former selves, drunk on the rage that fuels them. Dota should be a fun place where you treat others how you want to be treated and work together. There's no surrender button in Dota because Dota players never give up. <laughs> Teaching people how to mute. Oh. <laughs> this game is so freaking toxic. I love it. A little video showing you how to mute people in your real game, so you shouldn't feel bad. Remember, we're supposed to be having. Oh, there's a bug there. That slacks his voice. Here, <laughs> we're just gonna mute crit. Apparently, eh? All right. Now, if you have a rager on your team and you screw up, just hit him with the whoop. Nobody could possibly be mad at the guy who keeps spamming whoop, right? They absolutely can be. Whoop. Who is, is it freaking, who is that? <laughs> See, there he goes, his power over us. It's a little bit like Eternal Envy, but I'm not sure. Head to the next marker. I won't tell you where it is, but you're gonna have to use your mini map and your camera to find Dragon it. We'll to meet the you there. I like this stuff. Teach him earlier that people are toxic. Welcome to the bounty rune spawn. Yes, there are more things that spawn. Bounty runes spawn every five minutes, including the beginning of the game at the zero mark. And here's where they spawn. Here we are, then here. Your opponents also have two spawns, right here, and right here. 
Bounty runes, when picked up, give your entire team a small amount of gold, but it does add up. As the game goes on, the runes are worth more and more. Making sure that you're collecting your side's bounty is a way to ensure your team stays in the game. If you manage to steal the enemy runes and get all four, your entire team gets a much bigger advantage over the enemy, as you are all making more money while the enemy gets less. But believe it or not, this is not the only type of rune, dear student. Let's head over yes. here. Honestly, I'm really enjoying this so far. It's like just making me want to play the game, even though I have like shit to do. But <laughs> this is called a power rune spawn. These are power ups that spawn every two minutes, starting at minute four. These dramatically change your character to be more powerful for a short time. There are many types of these runes, and I don't feel like telling you all about them. Fair I'll enough. Show you with the help of the power rune rangers, which are not actually a real thing. Who are the power rune rangers? Cap, okay. Jenkin. Damn it. Excellent. Blitz, nice. Illusions. Try it. This is really awesome. Invisibility. They got so many people on this. Arcane rune? Ah, my cooldowns are lower and my spells cost less mana. Haste. Whee! <laughs> Incredible. There's so many talented people that come on this. Help! I need assistance. I'm very, very badly hurt. <laughs> Regeneration, nectar of the gods. We are the power of 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 There is a ton happening constantly on the Dota map, and you as a team need to handle all of this as well as murdering your enemies. We have a saying in Dota, if you're standing still, you're most likely doing something wrong. There's always something to do, so go forth and do it! Okay, let's talk about the horrible monster you just saw. His name is Roshan, and Who he lives in the, the pit. Let's go inside. Okay. Roshan is a big badass beat anyone who attacked him to death in his little nerd game. He's probably pretty angry because he gets no Wi-Fi soon. Fair enough. Defeat, I'd be too. Most teams will potentially need a bunch of heroes in the area to attack him in order to take him down. But we've been talking to you for so long, we thought that you would like to fight him alone for fun. Here are some hyper late game items for Dragon Knight as well as a few level up. These are pretty decent for Dragon Knight. Oh. Or there's like divine image. <laughs> so many that now you have been gifted talent. Remember when we said each hero comes with innate skills? Yes. But items can change the hero dynamically to be something different? That's true. Well, talents do the same. Huh. Levels 10, 15, 20, and 25, you're given a choice for an upgrade. And those choices let you make this hero fit your playstyle. Select whatever talents you think... But if it's not your playstyle, people will flame... Uh, it's not the right playstyle, people will flame you. Um... Yeah. What the, I guess it doesn't really matter here. Okay, that's all I probably done. shouldn't have got that because I have the harder room, but whatever. We can give you. Defeat Roshan! Oh, it's your friends! They've come to do battle with you! How nice! Fight to end doing that final push. Go ahead and take it. 
Wonderful, yeah, wonderful. If there's only a way we could. Sorry, Sans fan. Didn't mean to cut you off. Oh dear. The time has finally come. It's time to use all that we have taught you. Time for a team fight! Learning is over! Kill them all! Fair enough. And um, we get triple spin next. Should be going after him, probably. It could have been done much better, honestly, but whatever. This allows you to quickly traverse the map. Any friendly buildings, including stolen outposts, can be teleported to by clicking on the scroll, then clicking on the building. In fact, you can click the scroll anywhere on the mini map, and the game will automatically teleport you to a building as close as possible. Ah, when you're in a jam, clicking on the teleport scroll twice very quickly will teleport you to the safest place on the map. Your I did not know that. Keep in mind that when you do teleport, you are required to channel it. Channeling essentially means that you can't Good thing to know. do anything else while it's happening. It. And if you do, your TP will be cancelled and be completely wasted. Click on the teleport scroll twice now as we have a surprise for you. Also, always have a teleport scroll on you and if you don't, you're a noob. Oh. Okay, actually no. We want you to promise us that you will always have a teleport <laughs> For real. If we ever see you without a TP scroll on your person, you're gonna make us look. I saw him swear. Every time you see that circle without a TP in it, picture your big lonely heart there instead, looking for its soulmate. Give the circle its soulmate by two, maybe even three, if you must. Promise us you will always have one. Press V, the microphone button, and say you promise that you will. I promise to always carry a TP, Sir Action Slack and Sons fan. I promise you. I know. Bro, we, we told you I know, but I, I know, I know, but I felt like I had to, okay, for the viewers out there. All three of them. And here we are. We have truly come full circle. You did a great job in the tutorial. We're very proud to have you join us. Now, some final lessons. First, let's talk about heroes that aren't Dragon Knight. Fair enough. Axe! Heroes are broken down into three categories. Strength, agility, and intelligence. Your hero, Dragon Knight, is a strength hero. They're known for being beefy, having a ton of health, and staying in fights a long time as they beat their enemies down with brute force. What, no Divine Rapier? <laughs> heroes are glass cannons for a while these heroes are known for dealing lots of damage later in the game but they're relatively weak at the start they need to weave in and out of combat to be effective doing large amounts of damage but then escaping before the enemy can kill them Typically strongest in the early game, but become weaker as the game goes on. However, they are able to cast very powerful spells, which can allow the games to never get to the late game. These are further broken down into roles, such as position 1, the carry, position 2, the mid, position 3, the offlane, and 4 and 5, the supports. But we won't get into that garbage. Fair enough. The time has come for you to decide which hero class best suits you. Are you the kind of guy who wades into battle with his big belly ready to smash? Or are you a cunning assassin? Perhaps you'd like to destroy your enemies in an instant with a powerful spell? Well, that's for you to decide. And that is it, my friend. The end of the tutorial. No, oh, wait, one more thing. Mm -hmm. Surprise! Surprise! These are all people who made this possible, as well as some of the community members that have more advanced guides and resources for you. Dota is a nearly impossible game to master, but that's what makes it so fun. 
go up to any of the people at the party and click on them. They'll introduce themselves and link you to additional resources in advanced guide. That's so cool. We'll miss you, young one. Make sure to say goodbye before you leave. You are now ready. Don't feel bad if you lose. You're going to lose a lot. That's true, but Dota is one of the most rewarding games to play if you give it a chance. The map is yours, my child. Good luck and have fun. Thanks, Suns fan. Whenever you're ready to say goodbye yourself, feel free to destroy the enemy ancient. Keep in mind that in order to do that, you must first destroy the tier 4 towers protecting it. Okay, will do. To make it easier for you to plow through Dyer's defenses, we put a divine rapier in your inventory. Now go and destroy them all! Alright, we'll look through here. Dota University. Hello, welcome to Dota 2. I'm Staged, and I'm here to represent Dota University. We're a beginner-friendly Discord community that organizes coach lobbies in which you face other players with similar experience. We also host educational workshops and tournaments regularly. Check us out if you're looking to learn more about the game or just want to hang out in a fun community. Click on the link below to get an invite to the server. I hope Holy this shit, this is so awesome. Just like, you know, provides a lot of stuff for the people in the community. Huh? I'm gonna, I want to click on this. Like, I hope none of you can see that. Sure. Okay, none of, you, none of you can see that. Okay, cool. That's so awesome. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to Tsunami. What's up? I'm Tsunami. If you start following Dota 2 Esports, you'll probably hear more of me. But once upon a time, I also had no idea what was going on in this crazy game. So I decided to document every time I saw a weird interaction or some spell mechanic that you'd only know after hours of playing a hero. I ended up compiling all those tips on my site, HowDoIPlay.com. Take a look if you want some quick advice on how to play or counter specific heroes. Sick. I'm, I'm gonna go to talk to everybody because, you know, just so I can have it here in case you want to look at it. Hey guys, this is Purge. Um, I'm a longtime Dota 2 content creator. I make lots of YouTube videos covering um, gameplays of myself playing a variety of different heroes and explaining my thought processes. And I also stream Dota 2 pretty commonly as well. Um, my YouTube channel is youtube.com slash purgegamers. And my Twitch channel is twitch.tv slash purgegamer. I also have a YouTube series that I put on my YouTube channel that I'm really happy with. Uh, I have the Dota Basics, which goes over a lot of these simple things like what the UI looks like, stuff like that, that you might want to share with your, your friends or just watch yourself. And I also have a Learn Dota series, which is, uh, it's like, about 15 videos that basically teaches you the more in-depth uh, things that you might want to know about how to play Dota well. They're a bit dense, but um, there is a lot of really good information in there, and that should give you a lot of the basics to help you grasp how to play Dota correctly, or at least at a much higher level, um, without having to flounder around for a couple months or years or the rest of your life. You know, you could get better faster than that. So, you know, think about checking it out. Um. Hey there, I'm Alex, and welcome to Dota. Linked here is my Dota 2 Beginner's Guides playlist, which has videos covering everything you need to know to get started in this amazingly complex game. I cover it all, from the absolute fundamentals to hero roles, items, and even suggested heroes for new players. I'm so happy that you're here, and I hope that you enjoy your time in the Dota universe. So sick. Who calls the dragon? Hey everyone, congratulations on completing the tutorial! My name is Ruby, and I do a lot of work in Dota communities. I'm really excited to meet you all, so if you ever see me in a Discord, please stop me and say hello! I need no hello skin. there, I'm Sir Action Slack. If you want to know less about how to play the game and more about Dota's incredible lore, then come and check out my YouTube channel and watch some of my videos. Besides that, you probably shouldn't take notes on how to play Dota from my channel. <laughs> unless you want to learn how to play techies and become a degenerate that everybody hates. Which I'm sure you do. Come join me, you disgusting creature. Welcome to Dota 2, my friend. You're gonna have a great time. Yes! Hey guys, this is Sunspan. I was the Grievel annoying you for the entirety of the tutorial. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to play through this community-made effort. I'm a commentator and content creator for Dota. I'm a part of a YouTube channel called Dota Cinema, which currently has 1.3 million subs and should itch your appetite for all things Dota 2. We even have a show called Fails of the Week where the other idiot Grievel and I make fun of each other. In addition, we have some hero spotlights and other educational content that I'll link here. As for me, you can follow me on my Twitch stream and Twitter at StunsFanTV. 
can also come hang out on my Discord at discord.gg slash <laughs> Welcome to Dota 2. We hope you stay with us a long time. Okay, that kind of sounded like something the leader of a cult would say, and uh, eh, I guess that's not too far from reality. Go this way. Wait. Hey, I'm Chelsea from Dota Buff. Dota Buff provides stats on the latest hero trends, skill and item builds, professional teams, and personal profile pages to help you improve your gameplay and understanding so of Dota 2. We want to empower you to be the best player you can be. Thanks so much for listening, and welcome to Dota. Good luck, and have fun. Of course. Hey, I'm a coach at Dota From Zero. We offer free group coaching for new and beginner level players. If you feel like you need additional help to learn the game, head over to DotaFromZero.com and join our Discord. Sick. Yes. Hey, my name is Banana Slam Jam, and I make educational videos for Dota 2. If you want to learn more about some fundamentals that will help you out when you're getting started, check out my new player tutorials by clicking the link. You can also find me on Twitch and ask me questions live. Welcome to Dota 2. This is so sick. Hi, my name is Bowie, and I'm a content creator that focuses on translating what the pros do to give you an edge in your part. I usually aim towards average and higher MMI players, but my content focuses Dota concepts that can be translated to anyone that wants to get more MMR and understand the game a little bit better. So feel free to hop in. Bye! Bowie. What's poppin' gamer? My name is Angermania and I make lore videos on YouTube. If you feel overwhelmed with all this new knowledge and are worried that you're not gonna ever get good at this game, you could always take a break from your gameplay and learn about the lore. My main content is videos about specific heroes, so maybe your favorite one has already been covered, or maybe learning the lore of a new hero will inspire you to try them out in the game. Check out the link for my playlist of all my Dota 2 Hero Lore videos. Good luck learning Dota, maybe we will meet in the game one day. Peace. Dragon to the Excellent. Hey now, I'm, I'm in this Discord actually. Subreddit, reddit reddit reddit.com slash r slash Dota 2. We're the primary English speaking Dota online community. The Reddit functions as not just a discussion and news outlet, but also a hub for all the best Dota information. Come hang out and talk about the news, the games, the memes, the competitive scene, or just browse the educational resources and find new friends. Compelled to play. We have a present Wikipedia. We're Wikipedia, the best resource for Dota 2 esports in the world. We're a volunteer-based wiki which aims to record all of the history of the Dota 2 professional esports scene. You can find our website at wikipedia.net, or if you ever Google for a pro tournament team or player. Cool. Bye, bye. So many people click on here. Hey, how's it going? My name is Yodi, and I make videos to help players just like nice. you get up to speed quickly playing Dota. I hope by showing you kindness and excitement while teaching you that you will carry that attitude on as you learn to improve on your own. If you want to learn more about my content, you can click the link and it will take you to my Learn Dota series playlist. I'm so glad you're here and congrats on starting your Dota 2 journey. Hello friend, I'm Zach, also known as Zquixotics. I make educational content mainly for support players on my YouTube channel. Oh, I got a flash in there. <laughs> I've got a special series for new players like yourself as well. Learn how to play support. Have any questions? Because I'm pretty bad. Smash the state. All right. <laughs> I'm smash the state for the bottom team. Hope you enjoy that. Uh, incredible. And these are all the modders for my custom games. Okay. Of course. Do I have speed on here? Hello there. I'm Cook, one of the modders in the team. I hope you enjoyed our tutorial. The game is complex, but extremely rewarding and fun. Don't worry if you don't understand everything yet. You have all the potential to improve. Enjoy. Nobody's telling me to smash and get that game leap sub. That's okay. Awesome. Yes. Hello, I'm Yoyo from the modding team. If you have fun in this tutorial, you could also invite some girls to join this wonderful community. Don't underestimate anyone, and I'll see you in the pub. Yes.
The dragon waits. Look at all these people here. Oh wow. Different languages. Forward. Wow. Just leave that up there for a second. Alright, now I'm gonna go kill the I'm gonna go kill the agent. Dragon to the fray. I need no speed. Onward. Did I miss anybody? I don't think so. This will only hurt. Hold the agent. Well, that was really good. I really enjoyed playing that. I hope that this gets some, some traction, so it's just partially why I'm making a video on it, so people will see it, but... It was really good. Um, I like that they all have, have all this stuff for all the people in the community. Oh, I'm gonna time me out. Um, I liked that there was a lot of, like, really cool voice acting. I liked, uh, told you, like, a lot of different aspects of the game, even if it wasn't getting super in-depth with some of the concepts. Um, really cool. And I'm really glad that they, uh, decided to make it. Um, I had a lot of fun playing it. Uh, just a little bit of bugs there, but, um, nothing, like, that's too unfixable. Just some, like, things that are, you know, like, the, like, the portraits weren't the right person talking, or it'll be, like, something that was said that wasn't in the writing. But other than that, it was really good. Um, so shout out to the modders and everybody who worked on that. It's really cool. Um, yeah, I hope people play it because um, it definitely helps in a lot of concepts. Uh, just really, just really nice to give some shout outs to a lot of the different community members that are in the Dota community. So yeah, really fun. All right. That being said, um, that's going to be the end of this video. Um, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Haha. <laughs> and check me out on Twitch. And I will leave a link to... I'm going to put some uh, Sir Action Slacker's channel in the description because he's the one that kind of spearheaded this. So, that being said, I'll see you next time.